Hi everyone, this is Christian A. Howell here, and in honor of Valentine's Day coming up, I thought I would do a quick tutorial on how to draw a perfect heart in Illustrator. Now, I um, am a Mac user, and I use a lot of keyboard shortcuts, so I will explain those as I go. But of course, there's like five million different ways to get to the same tool in Illustrator, so um, please, of course, use your preferred method. And if you're a PC user, when I use the Apple command, you can just interchange that for the control key. So the first thing we're going to do is select our circle tool, or we can just press L on our keyboard. And we're going to hold down shift, and that's going to allow us to draw a perfect circle. Then we're going to use our selection tool, or V on the keyboard, hold down shift and alt, and we're going to copy this shape and move it over on a parallel plane. The next thing to do is to select both shapes, come over to your Pathfinder palette, which can be found by selecting Window and dragging down to Pathfinder, and this palette will appear. We're going to select this first button, which is going to combine the shapes, and then we will expand them, which will make it one continuous shape. Next, select the Direct Selection tool, or A, on the keyboard, and we're going to select just this point right here, hold down the Shift key, and drag it down to form the point of our heart. Then on the keyboard we can select shift and letter C and click this point and it's going to take away those handles and make it just a solid point. Next with our minus key also over here on the palette you can expand this pen tool. You can add points so, uh, delete them, or convert them. So now we're going to delete these two points, or just hit minus on the keyboard. And we don't need these guys anymore, so we can just delete those. Okay, and we're almost there. I'm just going to move this up a little bit so we can see better. Now I don't really like how these edges are not nice and rounded and smooth, so we can change that. The first thing I like to do is drag from our ruler a guideline so that both sides will be totally even. Then I'm going to use my direct selection tool again and just drag this handle down and that's going to round out that curve a little bit and do the same on the other side. There we go. And now we have a perfect heart. Now if that's a little too round for your taste, we can use our direct selection tool again. Choose this point and hold down shift and stretch out the heart shape a little bit. And then there's all kinds of fun things you can do. Like sometimes I like to do funky shaped hearts where I can kind of manipulate the shape a little bit so it's not so perfect. So it feels a little more sketched, and maybe this side a little bit too. And of course, if you don't like what you see, you can just hit undo or Apple Z. Maybe I just want to stick with my perfect heart. So there you go, pretty simple trick I use all the time is a great starting off point for my heart shapes and sometimes they get a little crazy from there but that is a quick way to draw a perfect heart and a great way to start out all those handmade sweet little valentines that you're going to be sending this year thanks for checking it out and have a happy valentine's day